Hello and welcome to norot4u.com and to www.4ehsbyehs.com EMF Exposure Reduction Hello, this is Amir Borashtan from norot4u.com and for 4ehs by EHS. Uh, today I would like to talk with you about uh, EMF reduction or exposure reduction. The exposure reduction is very important. I meet lots of people that are very afraid from a cell phone tower across the street or 500 away, uh, meters away from their home, but their house is full with wireless devices, Wi-Fi and cell phones and uh, cordless phones and tablets and wireless computers. And they, when you come and measure it, you can actually see that is, it seems like there's more radiation from the inside of the house then from the outside. So, first thing you have to do is minimize your exposure from your own devices. Uh, this strongly go to EHS pe people. People who are suffering from extreme from a, a electromagnetic hypersensitivity like me. Uh, no wireless devices are allowed. Remember, every exposure will bring pain and suffering. So stop the exposure. Uh, I lead a very normal uh, life in, inside my house. Uh, there's uh, lots of gadgets and things. Everything is wired. Lots of computers. All the computers are wired. In every room you will find a, a phone, a, a, a wired phone. Uh, there's nothing wireless. Uh, the, level, the level of radiation is roughly known. Other types of exposures. There's exposures from radiation that is coming from the outside meaning cell phone towers, radio transmission towers, uh, uh, TV transmission towers, uh, also from in the low frequency uh, band as uh, power lines and power converters on, on the street. This is one, one uh, subdivision. The second thing is the second is, uh, sources that are sources inside the house, uh, like Wi-Fi routers, cordless phones, uh, laptops and tablets, um, and in the uh, ELF band then there's all the motors, all the power converters inside the house and the uh, underflow electric heating, electric heating in general uh, and all kinds of uh, motors and converters and stuff like that, electric devices usually. Um, the third subdivision is uh, uh, personal exposure from personal stuff, for example uh, your cell phone. Most people don't know that, but most cell phones or smartphones are actually connected all the time to the internet via the cell phone networks, and this causes the cell phone to radiate, to emit radiation, RF radiation, most of the time. All the application on it, uh, on all the, the, the operation system, is using the RF in order to transmit information outside and get information inside to the phone. So the first step will be will be to reduce exposure from your own personal phone which you usually carry on yourself or use it most of the day. So reduce the time you use it, use it with care uh, only for interest people, only on extreme uh, situations that you must use the cell phone. Keep a safety distance from it and turn off uh, the Wi-Fi on the cell phone and the data connection through the wireless network. For, for people which are not DHS, this is also very a very good idea or advice to give because this will also save their battery time. Usually when I tell a person that uh, if he will reduce exposure, then he will feel better, he goes, nah, it doesn't matter. And I'm telling you that if we shut down the Wi-Fi and data connection, then he will save lots of battery, he goes freaking out saying, oh, that's wonderful, let's do it. Okay? So, Turn the, the, off the Wi-Fi, turn off the data, and your cell phone will emit less radiation. Uh, again, uh, reducing exposure from your cell own exposure is uh, very important. It will make you feel better if you're an HS person. It will be safer if you're not an HS person. Uh, there's usually lots of uh, ways to and gadgets to use also on a wired internet or on a wired connection, don't have to use wireless everywhere, all the time. Uh, reduce it one by one, slowly and gradually until you achieve a, 
radiation free environment or living environment um, that's all thank you guys and see you next time Thanks for watching and see you next time.